Well, we stayed up a little too late again last night, but... Oh my! I hear horses. That's not good. Come back here, you dirty farmer. Logan. Why you gotta be like that? I don't see Elsie. Um, howdy there, Debbie. Hey, I need to ask your advice on a little something-something regarding a friend of mine who's in a really dilly of a pickle and... Oh, to heck with it. It was me. I wrote the letter. And I used my paw to deliver it. The guilt has been eating me up inside. It weren't meant for you, though. It was for me, Anne. I told my paw 50 times, don't give it to the builder. Repeat, do not give it to the builder. I guess hearing your name so many times got things jumbled up in that noggin of his. I wasn't naming to cause trouble. Honest. I just figured if I took her license, she'd have to take a breather. She's really been busting her buns lately, working herself to death. And if that happens, well, who's gonna go yakmo riding with me? But losing her license didn't help her relax at all. Now she spends all her time just moping around and never wants to do nothing no more. My plan didn't work one lick. I'm ready to face the music and tell her the truth, but... There's just one more teensy little hiccup. Uh, I might have messed around and... Lost the lessons! I just went and confessed everything to you, so... You're in on it too now, you hear? It must have fallen off my horse somewhere around the ranch. Can you help me go look for it? Sure, I'll help you. Good. Alright, now follow me. Let me show you where I was when I lost it. Dang it. That darn lessons better still be there. I should check on the water tower. That's more important than her shenanigans. Burgess, are you alright? What happened? Logan! He came out of nowhere. I... I couldn't stop him. It's okay, as long as no one's hurt. Well? The coward escaped. He's gone too far this time. I'm afraid you're right, Sheriff. I think we need to face the truth. Logan is no longer the person we knew. He and his gang need to be brought in. For too long we have allowed him to do whatever he liked because we respected his paw. But after the temple incident, the hijacked train, now with this water tower, it's just the last straw. What's wrong with that boy? Oh man, Howlett would have been so sad to see his boy acting such a fool. We showed those gigglers that sand rock ain't nothing to mess with. What's a couple of podunk, two-bit crooks to brave folk like us? I say, we get a posse together and make Logan pay for what he's done. Say no more, minister. Civil car with me. Let's see if we can't track down that ne'er-do-well before the trail goes cold. Hey, now. As senior officer and guy who's been here in this town way longer than your Mr. Macho protein huffing behind, I give the orders round here. But, uh, yeah, unsure, do what Penn said. Let's ride. Now, we need to get ourselves a new water tower in a hurry. Without it, our town can't easily access water from the oasis. The only solace I can find in all this mess is that at the very least, the water tower was almost empty. Our next shipment of water ought to arrive soon. But before that... Where is that Commerce Commissioner? Uh, right behind you, Minister. Yes. Yen, I need your guild to help our town rebuild this water tower before the next water shipment. I trust y'all can handle it? Is the sun hot? Does sand sting? Of course we can handle it! We'll also make the new water tower absolutely, positively Logan-proof. There's just one minor thing. The inconvenient matter of... <clears throat> the bill. 
Oh, of course, of course. Uh, I'll just put it on the tab. I'll have my builders working on it by tomorrow. Hear that, builders? Oh, drat. Where did the other one go? Go find that slacker co-worker of yours and tell her to expect the job to begin first thing in the morning. Pronto! All right, folks, let's move along then. Nothing more to see here. Let's just trust in our civil corps that there will be no more of these incidents. Indeed, y'all. Rest assured that everything is going to turn out all right in the end. Well, all righty then. We got a lot of excitement going on. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> that is seriously messed up. Let's see, can I get some water cheap before they hike the price? Yes. Gonna get it. I know I'm saving for my next expansion, but um, I'm sure water's gonna be twice that price tomorrow. Now, let me go check on Little Miss Thing. Little Miss Invisible Elsie. She was so anxious to confess, she totally ignored the fact that half the town just blew up. <laughs> but that's Elsie. A little bit self-absorbed. I think I'm going to be making manure um, into fertilizer soon, so I might as well stop and grab a few piles. Okay, here's her little hideout. This is where she slacks off. She's supposed to be working. She goes under this little awning. It's not here either. Hmm. She really did lose it. <laughs> These are two spots that I know she goes to all the time. Let me see if there's any hints on the map. Maybe she has to be accompanying me. Oh no, there it is. And here I am. I'm just on the wrong side of the hill. Good. I thought I, because I went to the uh, water tower, I thought maybe I derailed this um, quest. I'm in the blue circle. Here it is. Yay. That's it. My peach. You found it. Ooh. Right at the end of the tunnel. Maybe tonight I can finally get myself a half decent rest. I can't believe this all flew so far off the handle. Maybe committing fraud ain't all it's cracked up to be. I'll go give this to me on as soon as possible and tell her all what happened. I really hope she can find some way to forgive me. Say, you're a really good listener. And a good license finder to boot. You're all right in my book. Thanks for all your help. We should catch up again soon under less incriminating circumstances. That's a deal. Now I have to go find me Anne. Because our so-called supervisor asked me to. My throat is much better. Not completely 100%, but hopefully no coughing. Okay, she's not in her um, area. But I see her. I'm telling there you. There she is. Logan's innocent. What? I know Logan. We practically grew up together. 
He was always the goody two shoes. I just can't accept that he would do something like this. Um, Elsie, everyone saw him bomb the temple. And then the water tower, and then there's all the other stuff. I mean, I just want to be sure. Please? All right, what can I help you with? See, I don't think he did this without reason. I want to take a look at his house, which is right here, and do some hands-on investigating for the truth. What do you need me for? Cuz... Because? Cuz you're smarter than me, okay? Don't sell yourself short, Elsie. Oh, don't try to be nice, Mian. I'm dumber than a box of rocks. We all know it. The only way we're gonna learn all the facts is if I can get your help. I do want to help, but I don't think we can just walk so in. we're in agreement, then. <gasps> hey! Keep it down. You trying to get us in trouble? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Move along. You didn't see nothing. What are you two doing? I guess we're breaking into Logan's house to look for clues as to why he went off the deep end and blew up the temple. And we're gonna prove Logan's innocent, too. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, why don't you join us, Elsie? I think we could use one more member of the team who's... Um... Oh yeah! Cool, calm, collected. Just like me. Alright, you made your point. You're in. But I better not hear about you squealing. Especially not to my pa. <sighs> well, then... Shall we? The sooner we get through this, the sooner I can fix that window. <laughs> Bless her heart. Hunker in, you two. Spread out and look for clues. Uh, aren't you gonna do anything? I already came in here a while back. I didn't find nothing. That's where y'all and them higher education brains of y'all's come in. Eh, uh, alright. Let's look around then. Hey, what's this? Oh yeah, I've seen everything over there. Bunch of lame junk. No, Elsie, this is a clue. Huh? No way. Yes way. Take a look. A handsome groom with a similar gaze as Logan. Could this be Logan's dad? A beautiful, kind-looking bride with a distant look. Could this be Logan's ma? A busy wedding. This man looks like the host. His eyebrows are especially like Owen's. This looks like Owen when he was a kid. This photo was torn in two when they split up. The initials of the betrothed and the year of their marriage. Gosh, I hardly recognize anybody in this photo. Is that Logan's pa? And that's probably his ma. How come I've never heard anything about her? Um, sorry to interrupt, but how does this prove Logan's innocent? Everything we find here is a piece of the puzzle. Every object tells a small part of a bigger story. Also, Logan is not innocent. I would really give that one a rest. However, learning the motives of everyone involved brings us closer to the truth. And there's one person in this photo who will be able to tell us all about what happened at this wedding. Owen. Exactly. Owen is here in the background of this photo. He was there. He must know more about Logan's past. Her first clue. This photo is so old, I ain't even born yet. Hardly recognize anyone on here. Hmm. Well, I brought my camera. Why don't I start taking photos of anything we find that's interesting? I can mail copies to you guys, then later we can ask people in town about what we find. But, uh, try to be subtle. We're not supposed to be in here. Alright, let's spread out and keep looking. Two young men, silver hair, blue hair, probably Logan and his partner Haru.
And that's probably Jasmine, a little girl with a teddy bear. A small jasmine flower, the usual signature of jasmine. Oh, what a lovely picture. Looks like it was drawn by Jasmine. Okay, now y'all are playing around. What's a kid's drawing got to do with any of this? Well, obviously, it shows us that, um... Uh, Jasmine's in the gang. No, I'd say that Logan was well liked. So as well. If Jasmine was friends with Haru and Logan, I mean, they can't be that bad, right? When you lack somebody and they do something to hurt you, that makes you double mad. That's why everyone wants to bring Logan in. I think you're right, Elsie. Can you go talk to Jasmine later? Maybe she knows something we've overlooked. Okay, I have to take off this hat. I um, saw that there's some new hairstyles. I'm going to have to change my character's hairstyle so I can wear a hat and still have hair. But, um, not right now. Okay, more to check. A scrolled note with an address and the word Dr. Alan Carter on it. Why did they contact another doctor? Good question. It's likely a prescription written by Dr. Fang, it says, for Howlett on the cap and... S Sorry, I just can't read that fast. <laughs> oh, I already looked at the book. Some jacket notes highlighting a few sentences in the medical journal. Okay. There's something else in here. something else in the book. I can't, uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to put the magnifying glass. Stop closing. What's number four? There's a fourth clue in this book. I know me, Anne, but what's the other clue? Why did they contact another doctor? Oh, can I turn it over? Is that what it is? There's no uh, way to turn the pages. What's number four? Nope, can't flip a page. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Maybe there's something else on the desk. We picked this up already. There's nothing to click there. We picked that up already. Y'all see something else? There's something else with this book, and I can't find it. That's why it's still sparkling. That keeps closing it. There we go. Just have to be on the right little tiny teeny corner of How the it? photo. Who could that be? Logan's paw. Precisely. No doubt. The builder deduced this from the torn photograph and the initials H and C. H for Howlett. Or someone just asked pretty much anybody in town. Everybody knows Logan's paw's name. I thought y'all were just playing around. Yes. Of course. Anyway, why is Logan interested in medicine? Somehow, I don't see him as the type to ship from Monster Hunter to Doctor. Why did he need to consult a doctor, anyway? Well, despite the indecipherable handwriting, I can decipher that Dr. Fang probably wrote this prescription. Let's ask him about it later. Okay, so now we need to find Haru's 
work table. Let's go downstairs. Oh wait, there's another room up here. Let's go inside this room. Okay, what's this? Okay, this is his work table. Chemical fertilizer. Small bomb. A fuse. And a powder in a bottle. Hmm. Okay. These small bombs are meticulously crafted. The fact that they're made from everyday objects show that whoever made them had a good understanding of chemistry. Gosh, the standard of villainy really is pretty high around these parts, huh? Based on what I've heard about Logan, something like this is too sophisticated for him to have crafted himself. He knows someone in San Rock who does a lot of fighting. Someone who might know who's been setting Logan up with these improvised bombs. Pen. Pen's seen his share of fights. I'm sure he'll know where Logan's been getting his bombs from. Okay. Recipes. Facial cream, perfume, and soap. And most of these things can be found. Hey, I know made some of plants. this stuff. Isn't this RBO's 100% organic sandrock skin cream? And is this a recipe on how to make it? You use beauty products? Yeah, so? Uh, I just always thought. N never mind. Anyway, the products here are all unique to RBO's store. I kind of wanted to make some for myself, but he said they were all trade secrets. You're telling me Logan came up with the recipes? Of course not. Logan wouldn't concern himself with such meaningless pursuits. The nerd you seek goes by the name of... Haru. You got it. But, uh, wait, why is this important again? It means Arvio got these recipes from Haru, which means Arvio might know something. Hmm. The more we learn, the more tangled things become. Logan and his friends seem to be talented people, and now they're putting those talents to use in the wrong place. Let's ask Arvio what he knows. I don't think he'll be able to claim these as trade secrets anymore. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we need to find a marked map and a weapon rack. Here's some goodies from Portia's museum. Well, the ruins around Portia. We found all those relics. I miss my phone. I had that phone in Portia. Okay, sorry, distracted. I love going in other people's houses. <laughs> this space is empty. Obviously, a weapon was placed here. Considering the length, it was probably a dagger. A heavy sword, and it hasn't been used for a while. It's still sharp. Uh, assortment of armor, chest plates, kneecaps, blah de blah. And some boots with blood stains on them. This must be Logan's paws equipment. And Logan probably took the missing dagger. That's the only explanation that makes sense. What do you think? That was I an easy one. Suppose maybe reading detective stories and actually being a detective are pretty far removed. I didn't think this one needed figuring out. So they had some fighting gear. So what? Newsflash, they were monster hunters. Monster hunters who had their weapons forged by Hugo. Look at that insignia. I'll get you a picture of the equipment later. Can you go and show it to Hugo? Maybe he can tell us more about the father-son pair. Okay, and there's a map. Where is a marked map? Ah, uh -huh. it is here. Someone knew the layout of Samwa pretty well. They marked the church temple. The saloon is circled in green. They marked key points around the village. Do we need to turn it over? No. Seems like the plan was drawn on the map, but it was discarded. This is an action plan for the bombing of the temple! Wow, I feel we found a key clue. But 
Well, why does the plan feel like it's been rejected and changed? This is all a bunch of malarkey. Logan would never come up with no plan. And certainly not a plan with no revisions. He just does whatever his heart tells him. Elsie, you're a genius. Huh? I am? This map gives us a clue about Logan's... Mm. Impulsiveness? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> it's the wee hours of the morning. Haru, Logan's right-hand man, is scribbling madly on this map, begging Logan to see reason. No, Haru, I'm a mean bandit guy and I do whatever I want. Logan snatches Haru's plans right out of his hands, crumples them up and throws them onto the floor. We're bombing the temple and that's that. Hey, wait a sec. You just made all that stuff up. That'll prove a dadgum thing. Um, yes, everything I just said was pure conjecture. I suppose I could be wrong about everything. I guess they could have crumpled up that map for any number of reasons. This does give me another idea, though. Logan's attitude towards the church. I think it would be worthwhile to ask some of the pastors what their view on all this is. Well, we searched everywhere, dusted every corner, and looked in every nook and cranny. And we came up with diddly squat. It's a bunch of chicken scratch! Aw, oh, Fooey, had me go in there for a second. Well, who knows? This could be exactly the break in the case we were looking for. The bombs, the medicine, Haru and Logan's past, it's all connected somehow. I just can't figure it out yet. What's your take on all this? There's something more to discover. Uh, I don't know, partner. I think I need to take a breather. You've been doing this investigating thing forever. Let's give me on some time to ponder on these here photographs. And perhaps we might reconvene at a later date. Oh, okay. Thanks again for believing in me. Sorry I made you guys do all this. I, I still think Logan's a good guy, though. I hope you're right, Elsie. I know your heart is in the right place. And hey, don't talk like it's over. Maybe there really is something more we can do. All right, gang. Check your mailboxes for updates. Let's all head home. Can we just take a second to just see how cute my pants are? I mean, really. Love those back pockets. Okay, let's unhead on out the window. Gotta go back out the way we came in since we still don't have a key to the door. <laughs> and I don't think I have any active commissions. That was exhilarating. I never thought I'd. Hey guys, hanging out in front of Logan's old house, I see. Quick, say something smooth. Say the word and I'll take him out. Oh, girl. Uh, I think da, da, da. we were just fixing this oh, yeah. window. You gotta do that. That's just one of the many things I admire about you guys. Always a keen eye for what needs to be done around here. Well, see ya. Whew, that was a close one. Nice work. All right, let's split up, gang. I'll provide updates for everyone via the mail. Check your mailboxes. All right. That went okay. Okay, I need to go to the museum and repair the, um, because the museum was closed. When I got all of the pieces. So much to do. Hi, Katori. I need to use your machine for a minute, please. And I can go get Chi his new toy. Let me just see what else is going on. I don't have any th enough pieces of anything else. Nope. Just a telescope. Oh wait, no. I have the golden candlestick. Restore. Oh, I have to actually click on them. <laughs> I was looking at the zeros. But actually, that means how many you have in your stash. Silly me. I did have another one. 
Oh, I can almost make two of them. I don't know if the quest items, they have duplicate pieces or not. That's a big thing, whatever it is. Five pieces. Ooh, that one too. It's another big one. And another big one. Those are probably like statues or something. Oh, well, look at that. Let's go put that down on our property. After we talk to Chi. He is such a central figure in this um, Sandrock game. You have to go to him for all your research. He gives you a ton of quests. He knows Mint. He's like a star. We meet again. Was I supposed to just... I thought... Because I put together his... Thingy, he would ask for it. He didn't ask for it. Okay, I have a cooker that I can make this dish. So I'm going to move on to the blender so I can make um, fertilizer. That's why I was gathering the manure. Goodbye. Oh, hold on a second. Did I? I did. Oh, I have to install this. Oh dear. Okay. I can't do the telescope until nighttime. Did I already give him his equatorial mount? I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused. I've been playing one of my other characters. And, uh, in my other one, I already gave him the equatorial mount. Let me just make sure I have in this one also. Yeah, I'm not sure I have. I'm not seeing it. Or did I overlook it? It would be a blue one. Oh, you can't sort this by type. Bummer. License for ransom. New look. That's the mobile suit. You spin me round with the windmill. Banjo. Yakmill Station. Flower Gate. Moonlighter. Gone with the Wind. Hmm. Because I don't want to do these in the wrong order. You can um, break this quest very easily. I've seen. Um, it mentioned before that you want to make sure you put the mount in before you give him the telescope. Let me just go upstairs. So I don't see that I've completed that mount. I don't see that I've completed the mount. Okay, let me go, um, and that's my story. I understand if you don't want to go riding with me no more, but I really was harboring good intentions. Elsie, I, come on, I think I just forget all about our good times over one little mix-up, riding Yakmo, greeting all the little critters. Whenever you drag me out of my shell, I always feel like I never want to go back. But I can't go out all the time. Doing lots of commissions is like my thing, you know? Honestly, nothing stresses me out more than getting behind in my work. I didn't know it was like that. I'm real awful sorry. Yeah, I mean, how could you know? Maybe just next time you're having a problem like this, 
can you try and find a solution that isn't an elaborate scheme? Okay, I promise. Friends? Friends. I am spending way too much time with those ladies. Let me go check and see if I've given Zeke this um, photo that I just noticed in my inventory. I may have picked it up since the last time I saw him. Again, I apologize if I'm repeating anything that I've already shown you, but... A lot was going on with my uh, other character on a similar timeline. Oh, this photo. This one takes me back. Oh. We couldn't be much older than 20 in this photo. This is not long after we met at the Oasis. She was running her hotel and I was a gardener with no real purpose. We met when I was just passing through. I was instantly struck by her passion. She told me about her dream to share Sandwalk's beauty with the world. How strange that those fiery eyes full of passion would soon instead be full of tears and all because her dream came true. Indeed, she shared her, her oasis with the world, but the world did not return the same kindness. Nothing gold can stay. Time regrettably marches on in only one direction. Perhaps Sandrock was destined to be used up. I tried my best to turn back time in the desert. I was but one man and my quest was folly. She looks so happy in this photo. I had almost forgotten about how that look of hers. If only I'd stopped her that day when she went to check on the straw grid. Oh, sorry. I've kept you too long, haven't I? Young one, thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone who will hear them. Please stop by if you find any more of my photos. See, he made me have to read a long... <laughs> and there goes my throat. Long dialogue. Before I leave this area, let me check my map. Let's see if I need to go see Zeke. So I don't have to run all the way back over here. Okay, so by before 2200, I've got to install the telescope for Chi. All right, so I don't have any commissions going on other than the town ones, the flower gate. Katori, I feel like you want to chat, but I've been chatting a lot and I haven't made any money today. <laughs> I need to go grab a commission. I'll check the market and see if there's any diagrams I'm going to need to work on that water tower. Let's see. Since we're breaking even, I could afford to buy any um, blueprints I need, but I don't see any. Okay, let's see who wants to pay me some money. I think we're going to stick with Mabel. And I don't know if I have access to, I don't know which um, ruins I have access to. If any. That'd be a nice feature if they would um, let us know, like maybe put it on the calendar when our passes are going to expire. Okay, got some company. That's actually pretty cute. And what was in the mail? From Katori. Oh, she did want me for something. The show must go on. Yes, that's right. Despite incidents you may or may not have heard about, the Sandrunner Complex will be opening at schedule tomorrow at noon. Gold Goose Entertainment would 
Also, just like to remind people that the danger of the bandits in San Rock has been greatly exaggerated and encourages it. anyone and everyone to bring their friends and stop in for the grand opening of the Sand Runner complex. Gold Goose Entertainment is not responsible for any damages caused by bandit related mishaps. And Research Center, that was the blueprint he finished, and that's why I could give him another one today. And let's go see what we can build. The Apprentice Workstation. So I haven't even made the little one yet. Let's see if we have everything. We need a copper pot. Fancy, fancy kitchen. Okay, where do I get the copper pot? Right here. All right, so we've got a kitchen. So when the um, mysterious man comes, we can discuss cooking. Okay, now the thing I don't like about the kitchen is you can't put it in your house. I did suggest to the developers that they allow us to put the kitchen inside the house. Especially since it doesn't look like a grill. If it's going to live outside, it should look like a grill. How are we doing for water? I just bought some. Might as well use it. Let's put in 17. There we go. All right. We won't pick up our dew. We don't need it just now. I didn't have anything going on. Let's get something going on. We're going to have to be working on that um, water tower soon. Let's make sure we have everything we need. Okay, we've got 30 bronze bars, 36 copper bars. I saw something about some bricks. Let's get some bricks going. Get that going. What can you do? You can be doing... I'm actually doing pretty well for the others. So get some marble bricks done. Ah, let's get some glass done as well. We have a ton of sand. Okay, so I need to go. I need to make um, frying pans. I need three. That's going to take three minutes, 17 seconds. Let's get this rubber going. Look how much rubber we have. And what else should we do? Should we just get that plastic scrap out of the way? Let's get the copper scrap out of the way first. Then we'll get the plastic scrap out of the way. We need to go and see, um, look at all these relic pieces. Do we have room in our relics box? Not really. I think we're gonna have to make another one. Oh, we did. Again, on a whole different, my remembery is on a whole different character. All right, let's see, circuits and widgets. And that's kind of a relic, but not really. Um, I think it should go in pipes. I need to open that, see what it is. This is food scraps. I can eat those. See what you are. Gotta install you. We got a microchip. Okay. Something sparkling over here. Let's get you out. There we go. Hopefully it's those sweet potatoes I need to give Owen.
Here we go. I don't think we're going to harvest you anytime soon. All right, let's get out of farming. And let's head on over to the Blue Moon Saloon. Give this man his potatoes. Then after dark, we can go install the telescopes. So those will be two city commissions, non-commission board commissions. We can be done with. Gracie, hey, how you doing? All right, Owen. Yes, they need to fix that. They really do. Hey there. There you go, boo. All right, catch you next time. Let me see if he wants to talk about Hello. the water tower. Logan, well, he used to hang around in the Blue Moon Saloon from time to time. He was just a little ornery, but he was, he always paid his tab. His father passed away suddenly and he changed. I guess it's all, it's all such a shame. I'm always serving up tasty dishes on my tables at the Blue Moon. Make sure you stop in on the regular. Yes, Mr. Sexy All right, Voice. catch you next time. Oh, and he has the recipe for sale. Trying to get to 20,000, though. Let's see if she has something to say about Mr. Logan. I really, I don't really know anything about Logan other than what I hear from Sand Rockers who have been here a while. He's got some personal vendetta against this town or something. If he keeps this up, he'll attract attention on an alliance level. Whatever he's thinking, I'm pretty sure all paths lead to a dead end. Interesting Bye. that she mentions it's the Alliance. Like, like, I wonder if the flying pigs are eventually going to be coming to Sand Rock. That would be interesting. Maybe see my old friend Molly from Portia. I wouldn't hate it. Alright, let's go check on these frying pans and see if we have access to the Eufala salvage ruins. But I think we have access to the gecko station. And that's why we keep coming home with allies. Because we keep going way out there. Alright, it's the room for these goodies. I didn't get to put the fish, the um, farming kit away though. One of them's done. Just gotta wait for the others. I didn't get to put the farming kit away. I'm gonna stick it in here for now. Let me see what Meanna wants to talk about. Did you want to talk? We've been spending a lot of time chatting today. Hey there. Hey, when's your birthday? Mine's the 20th of autumn. We should remember to do something to celebrate. Okay, that's the day the See ya. mysterious man comes. Her birthday is coming up. Mine is winter. I chose winter. Okay. Up to you, follow salvage. Even though it cost me a pretty penny for the pass, I don't really want to go out to the gecko ruins today. Because um, there's so much going on in town. And I don't want to miss my opportunity to install that um, telescope. I always lose track of time when I go way out there and get into that mine. So we're just going to waste a whole day of our 300 bucks. get stuff from around here. Maybe I should do some fishing. Do I have any jerky? Where's my jerky? I don't have any jerky. So I think I'm gonna attack these yak mills over here. Get a little meat. You don't always get meat from the regular ones, though. But I pretty much always get it from the, um, the other ones. I should probably just fish. That's probably what I should do. Dried fish is so good for stamina. But 
better than jerky, but then I'd have to buy salt. Okay, I've got my iron tools, but I need to upgrade them. I wonder where my notes are on my uh, water tower repair. I could get some stuff going. I think that would be a good idea. I know I need some quartz for upgrades. So let's grab some of that while we have stamina. Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna wait for the uh, the last skillet. There we go. And let's make sure it's the quality. Now that I have a refiner, you have to check your quality. And they are up to stuff. So let's go see Miss Mabel. Turn in that commission. Get a little more cash. Justice, dear, you look stuck. I'll come check on you in a minute. Well, hello! That'll do nicely. See ya. Yeah, let's see what you Hi have to there. say about Logan. Hello, move. A lot of us folks were sympathetic towards Logan. You know, he's been through an awful lot. But going and doing something like this, I don't know what to say. Alright. Oh, she's got some um, recipes available too. She doesn't have any meat right now. Okay, Justice. I thought you and the posse were out. I once offered up Logan the position of deputy here at the Civil Corps. He said he preferred to remain a free agent. I've never really understood the mercenary type. How could somebody fight for a cause they don't even believe in? Be seeing you. Okay. Since Yan is down here, I think I'll go and check his little station. See, can I get some turkey? Yay. Got it. Um, I need to make an appointment with Pablo so that I can get the new hairstyle that'll show under my hats. I really love my pigtails though. But the hats are getting cuter and cuter and I kind of want to wear one. Okay, 1600. I think I can um, install the telescope at around 1900. Yeah, let's see, let's see. I have plates to put in there. And then I do a second food I did. Get these steaks put away. I think I'm going to save those. I have seven. I have some food scraps. Get rid of the wood. I have a lot of food scraps actually. Let me go add this copper scrap to this run. Oh, it's finished. Well, let me go do those. All right. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any little like f news flash about the uh, cost of water going up yet. Probably will come when I wake up in the morning. Okay, let's see. I've got bronze daggers, iron pick hammer, 
iron axe. My iron axe could be refined. Yep, let's refine that. All right, so my bronze daggers are purple, so I won't try to go any further. And now I need some more of this rose stone, which is hard to come by. I have to go kill some stuff out in the get-go ruins area. I really need iron daggers. What was I missing from the iron daggers? Ah, yes, twine. Let's go see, can we get some twine? I'm level 24, I'm going to take a chance. I've delivered my commission for today. Just waiting on nightfall. I know where to get some twine. It's risky. This is a long trip. I think that's why they had us put the Yak Mouth Stop in. But the money. The money, though. 30 gold to come out here. It's a little bit pricey. Okay, I need my daggers. And whatever stamina I have left, I'll just gather some stuff here and there get some more plastic. I don't think I have enough plastic. Here we go. All right, now what exactly is this thing? I was discussing this with my friend Mythic and she thinks it's a lion. I was thinking it was a kangaroo. But anyway, <laughs> I gotta try to beat him if I wanna get this twine. Where'd he go? There he is. He's a little high level for me, but I did break him. I can keep that up. It's his kick that is dangerous. As with most of these fights, if you can stay behind the creature, you're better off. They almost always have a frontal attack. Come on, I'm almost done. Don't die, don't die, don't die. You almost got him. Out of the way. Take that punch. Don't take that punch. <laughs> there. Okay, I got one twine. So I can come and fight another one tomorrow and get another, a second twine. And I'll be able to make my iron um, daggers. Which will help me fight them. Also, if I had iron daggers. Okay, let's get some plastic too. I saw some. Here it is. Some plastic. And it's time to go install the telescope. It's 1900. It's going to take me a while to get back to town. So that's one twine, one to go. And hopefully this quest and whatever I have to do tomorrow will level me up so I'll be closer to the level of those um, kangaroo, whatever they are, jacks, jumping jacks.
Okay, so let's get this up on his roof and make him a happy boy. Oop, missed the stairs. Alright, it should be dark enough. Because we need to go to bed on time tonight. We look in a hot mess. Builder, your footsteps sounded heavier than usual, and I thought you might have... Oh, my science! It's incredible! What do you think the aperture is on this thing? 600 millimeters? 700? Was ever the case, I could probably count the debris in orbit. I could see the accelerators on the moon. I could... <clears throat> Thank you. Your assistance has been most acceptable. You may go now. I... Hmm? You want to use the telescope? Hmm. <clears throat> yes. I was afraid of this. I've spoken with City Hall preemptively and made a formal request barring non-research personnel from using the telescope. Unfortunately, my request has been denied. I've been told, regrettably, I must be nice and share. You may use the telescope starting tomorrow, when I don't need it. I've prepared this as compensation for your efforts. Now, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. I will let you be alone with your scope. I am going to go get some sleep. <laughs> it's been a long day for my girl. I have two hours and I can get a little bit more stamina used up. Um, we're going to be needing quartz. Let's get some quartz. And what else do we need? Probably some hardwood. See if there's any sand berries back over here. I see sparkling, yay! We need these sand berries. Also need an upgrade kit. Is there an alpha? Let me, I think I have enough stamina left to take down an alpha use an upgrade kit. Get my stuff for my fertilizer. Did I get another upgrade kit? I did not. Oh, that's disappointing. All right running out of time, but I think I'm going to go down here and mess with this cockadoodle. See if I can get an upgrade kit from her. I did. Awesome. Let's go for one more. Now I'm pushing it. <laughs> Going for one more upgrade kit. One. Yay! Okay, now I'm gonna go put her to bed. That was good. That was worth taking a trip down here. All right. Just grab some more quartz on the way home. Use up this 50 stamina. And go to bed. So disruptive.
turn your body. See how much easier that was when you turned toward it? <laughs> I got another quartz. Exactly what I needed.